All right, so here, because the normal distribution of a male adult heights in North America has a mean of 70 inches and a standard deviation of 4 inches, a height of 78 inches lies two standard deviations above the mean. Now, in normal <coughs> distribution, a z-score, which is what we're learning about here, describes how many standard deviation of deviations a particular item lies above or below the mean. So z-scores can be either positive or negative, depending on if they're below or above the mean. Now, the z-score for the data item 78 is 2 above uh, the, the mean of 70, and so it has a z-score then of the 2. So how do we compute it? Well, z-score describes how many standard deviations a data item in a normal distribution lies above or below the mean, again, depending on if it's a negative or positive. Now, the z-score is obtained by taking the data item minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Now, data items above the mean have positive, data items below the mean have negative, and the z-score for the mean itself is zero. So if you have uh, something and we wanna find the z-score for this, well, that's the mean, well, that's just gonna be a zero. So the z-score there is zero. Now, if we go two standard deviations above, the z-score is two, two standard deviations below, the z-score is minus two, and then everything in between there. We can have decimals, we can have all kinds of stuff for z-scores, so that's kind of a, a nice thing to do, or to know. And so this is kind of how it looks if we uh, look at a, a normal distribution. Now this is actually of newborn infants, so the mean looks to be seven pounds. One standard deviation below, or a z-score of negative one, is 6.2, two below is 5.4, three below is 4.6. Now going the other direction for a one standard deviation above, it's 7.8. Two standard deviations above, or a z-score of two is 8.6. And 9.4 is three z-score uh, of three, or uh, three uh, standard deviations above. Okay, and then you can also get in between here. So like here it says a nine pound baby is 2.5 standard deviations above. So that would be a z-score of 2.5. Whereas a six pound baby is gonna be right here and that's 1.25 standard deviations below the mean. So we can have numbers above and below and we can have you know multiple decimal places depending on what they actually ask for us to have. So this is one where they want us to find uh, z-scores. And they say the length of horse pregnancies from conception to birth is normally distributed with a mean of 336 days and a standard deviation of three days. Find the z-score for horse pregnancy of 342 days, 336 days, and 333 days. All right, so if we do that, we have A. Well, our z-score is going to be what? Well, it's going to be our data item, 342 minus our mean, which we said was 336, divided by the standard deviation, which is three. Well, that's gonna be six divided by three, so that's gonna be two. So the z-score is two in this case, so two standard deviations. B, well, what's the z-score gonna be here? Well, 336 is gonna be our data item, minus our mean, which is 336, divided by three. Well, zero divided by three is zero. So that one, shows us what we saw over here of, uh, where was it? The z-score for the mean is zero. So that's what we just kind of showed here was that the mean score, the uh, z-score for the mean is zero. And one last one, z, z equals. Now we have 333 days minus 336 all over three. Well, that's going to be a minus three over three. So that's going to be a minus one. So our z-score here is a minus one. All right, so let's stop there and we'll come back for some more.